Hello guys, open I uh, so I made a huge mistake on my last Go XLR video. I made <laughs> the audio was too low. In DaVinci Resolved, I dropped the audio because it sounded loud for me. And when I uploaded it to YouTube, it sounded I I it was very difficult to hear anything. Anyway, I'm gonna make this video very short and sweet, but this is my updated settings. What I am using right now because people on my stream have asked what my settings are and what microphone I'm using and stuff. So this is just an overall. The microphone is a Shure MV7 um, using GoXLR input, not the USB. I've got um, a GoXLR mini. Right, so the first thing I do, so say I've just cleaned install windows. The first thing I would do after installing I will go to the control panel and I will go from here to buffer settings and I, dr I will drop the buffer settings to 64. If you've got a really good six CPU, I would go to 64. Keep it on safe mode so you don't get no like stutters or fallout from the audio or anything like that. Because naturally, when you first do it, it's on um, 512, which I notice a bit of input lag. So if you put this on 64, you're sweet. Let's go. If you feel your CPU is not keeping up with it and the audio is dropping out still, just go up slightly until you find the sweet spot. Right, so first things first with the audio. Like I said, I'm going to keep this short and sweet because I've already done a video of this. So right now, <clears throat> you can pause the video and I will show you these settings if you want to copy them. However, I'm going to put the file in the description. And then you can download it and just pop it in there yourself. So here, I put this on 50. I think that's a sweet spot. Keep the audio roughly in low good and high low. So you want it roughly about here, 99% of the time. All this threshold old is the tack, the release. So basically, if I do this, it will pick up more background noise. If I lift it up, it will pick up less background noise. But I'll be cutting in and out. So um, if I'm just probably want to win, I go back down, and there you go. You should be able to hear me now. Um, so that will cut it in and out. So that will stop your background sounds, your fans, and everything. And then you got your release of your attack. But you can just copy this. Also, I want to point this out because some people st say they struggle with their S's on their microphone. So if you enable fine tuning and this one here, put this all the way up to five and then lower this. But as you can see, if I go up, you was heard me say sugar. Um, anything with an S will come through. <laughs> sugar anything just anything like that it would the s s s it would just pss, you'll hear it it's horrible come back down sugar 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 it's 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 better it's not picking the s up as much it's not as ash if you find yourself still low so you want your volume in your obs up to the max but this is where you control the makeup gain. Don't control it in your OBS. Control it here on this app. Don't do it in your OBS. Just turn it max on OBS. But you want your volume in your OBS to peak in the yellow. Low yellow. You, you roughly want it. And this makeup gain will help with that. And this here. But I put it on 50 and then I just focus on the makeup gain mostly. And then allow that to peak in the yellow on the OBS and I find that's the sweet spot for the audio. Um, like I say, I'm going to put the file in the thingy. I'll show you how to add the file actually. Um, so you go to this PC. I think it's documents. Yep, documents. Go, go XLR mic profiles. So if you download my preset, it will be called work in progress which it is completed. You can change the name of that to whatever you like. Just keep this part here and you'll be fine. The last part after the dot. And um, yeah, it's your choice. And then you just pop it in there, come down here, double click it, and all this will be set up for you. Anyway, guys, have a good one. Thank you for watching.